Hi, Taurus. Okay, we're doing your... Okay, yes, I have news. I forgot I was about to go right into your reading. Okay, Taurus, I have good news and bad news. I will no longer be doing um, individual readings, um, uh, private readings. Okay, I just don't have the time right now. I do apologize for any inconvenience. If you send me money for a reading, you will be getting, I will be issuing refunds, okay? Um, however, I still will be on Instago. You can hit me up on Instago anytime you want to, okay? Um, it's perfectly... I always have my phone with me, so you can hit me up anytime. I'll get back to you. Um, but I will be splitting the signs up, doing individual videos for each sign, okay? So there's that, all right? Let's see what's going on with you, Taurus. This is going to be for your August 5. Okay, don't forget energy is fluid. Okay, it can change. This could be um, already occurring. It could have happened already or it could be coming in. All right, let's see what's going on with you. All right. Taurus. This is going to be for Taurus. Uh, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and um, north node. I forgot I forgot to mention that in the Capricorn video. Sorry, Cappies, if you're cross-watching at all. So Taurus, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and north node. If you don't know your north node, go to Google, type in the year of your birth, and type in north node after it. It'll give you your north node, okay? Um, make sure, I highly recommend you look up your Vedic astrology as well. I'm just saying, it's up to, you don't have to. It's up to you. I would, okay? If you want more clarity, it's up to you. All right, one more shuffle, Taurus, and we should be good to go. Let's see. All right, let's see what's going on with you, August 5. All right. Taurus. Overall energy is going to be the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so like I just said, this is somebody who is a Taurus South Node because the dragon's head is the North Node. The dragon's tail is the South Node. This is the dragon's tail. This is the South Node. This is somebody who has a Taurus South Node, Okay. Um, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio because the opposite of Scorp the opposite of Taurus is Scorpio. Okay, so or you could have a Scorpio North Node. All right. So this tells me here that um, you're you're waiting on an opportunity here, Taurus. And the reason why you're still waiting on it is because you have yet to discover what your North Node is or what your Moon is. Okay. So the opportunities come once you get on your right path, but you're not on your right path because. This is your right path. As you can see, the universe gives you this gift. This gift comes from the universe. It's the universe right there. So the universe gives you this gift when you are on the right, if you are on the right and going in the right direction of your destiny. So if you are a score, if you are a Taurus uh, South, if you are a Taurus South node, okay, um, what is what is Taurus? Taurus is uh, the five senses. Taurus is our possessions. Taurus is our uh, our bank account. Taurus is, rules the throat. It rules the voice. So Taurus is about speaking out loud, speaking your truth. So if you have a Taurus South node, you are a Scorpio North node. All right. So this is like somebody who's not living in their destiny. This is like you're living out your South node instead. So how do I explain this to you? You're supposed to be a Scorpio this time, okay? So that's that. This is like Scorpio is secrecy. It's the occult, okay? Maybe you should be studying the occult. Maybe you should be some type of shaman, some type of a psychic, okay? You should be tapping into your psychic abilities more, okay? You should be keep. You should be more secretive, okay? You should be. Um, you should keep the things that you do more secretive. Scorpio is a sign of secrets, okay? It's the, it's the sign of everything hidden, okay? So you should be, this whoever you are, you should be trying to discover who you are at a deeper level. If you are having sex with someone, it should be deep emotional sex. It should not, nothing you should do, nothing you nothing you do should be superficial, okay? So if you're dealing with somebody with a Scorpio, or you're dealing with a Scorpio rising here, okay, or a Scorpio North Node, the, the whole point of that Scorpio North Node is so for you to have deep connections, okay? So everything about Scorpio is deep. It's sensual, okay? It's hidden. It's it's everything that we cannot see, all right? So I feel like you're waiting on an opportunity, but it's not going to come to you because you're not in your North Node. You're in your South Node still. You're still operating in your South Node energy. That's why it's not coming to you. Damn, that was a long intro, all right? But I had to go there on you, okay? So somebody here is unaware of their south node or north node. We need to find out what your north node and south node is, Taurus, because right now, whatever you're waiting on, the opportunity, you're not going to get it because you're not, you're, not, you're not living out your path. The universe is not going to aid you in doing something that you've already done a million times in another life, okay? And that's how it goes. As long as you're operating in your south node, the universe is not going to have your back. Period. Fucking that. All right. You have energy of the lovers. This is in love relationships. Okay. So um, if you are a Scorpio, you're dealing with somebody who's a Scorpio rising or a Scorpio north node. You are so you're not supposed to just have you're not just supposed to have fuck buddies. You're not supposed to just have casual sex. 
Scorpio connects through sexual intercourse. Scorpio connects deeply, emotionally, sensually. Everything, uh, a Scorpio wants to like, not only feel you, but when a Scorpio enters you, they want to like, they, they are completely consumed with you. They're completely consumed with your mind, body, soul, spirit. Like the, the, like the Scorpio lover, like they, they completely, they, they, they become one with their lovers. Okay. They actually heal through, they heal through sex as well. So if you have, if somebody has sun in the, in the eighth house, Ooh, who has some good sex, boy. If you if you're dealing with a Scorpio rising, Scorpio North Node, I mean Scorpio uh South Node or North Node or any Scorpio Moon, that that's some good love making right there. This this person knows they know how to make love to you, okay? Or this is supposed to be something you have to learn. You need to learn how to how to connect deeper in relationships if you were dealing with a Scorpio or if you are a Scorpio uh North Node. It's about it's about a deeper connection this time. It's not about being a Taurus anymore. It's not about just fucking and it's not about just give me that yen and I'm gone. No. It's about it's about connecting deep. It's about ten, it's about astro sex. Okay, it's deeper than that. It's about understanding because intimacy, the lovers is intimacy. It's it's intimacy is see into me. Into me you see. It's not just about sex, it's about I see you, I understand you, I am one with you. All right. Damn, some this is deep. Okay, Taurus, you have the energy of the queen, the queen of Pentacles. Okay, right, this Taurus energy you're living in your North Node, so you're dealing with someone, um, Taurus. Whoever I'm waiting for, you have a you have a Taurus uh, South Node, and you're living in it. You're living it out. Um, but this is why you, you, you might be very comfortable. You might be li living in a lap of luxury. You might have a beautiful home. Okay. You might have everything that you want. Okay. But I feel like you are still, you're still going to be unhappy here because, or this is somebody with a tourist North node. Okay. You take, you, 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 whatever it is to you. All right. But I feel like you're dealing with someone here who's very nurturing, who's very caring, a good cook, a good housekeeper, someone, this is someone who mothers you. This is also someone who gives you great, incredible sex. Someone that, this is also someone that you see eye to eye to. You get this person. Even if you guys are not having sex, it's like, you can still be intimate with someone you're not having sex with. Yes, you can. Uh huh. Yeah. So you can be intimate with this person. Like this is, this is like, you feel this person from a distance. You can, without even, without even having intercourse, you, you guys connect on this level that like you guys have this understanding. Okay. I, I feel like to this, this relationship is very, a, a very nurturing one as well. And I feel like it's not new because the ace of the ace of pentacles, I feel like it's something, it's, a, it's something that is something that you have already, it's, it's recycled energy. It's, re, it's, it's recycled. Okay. So this is like, this could be like an old fling. Somebody, somebody, this is not, this is not new love. It's, this is cause like the ace of pentacles is like raw material. It's, it's raw earth. It's raw energy, right? But it's not, it's recycled. It's something, it's something that you were given to before. Okay. Let's see what else you have going on here towards and you have the eight of pentacles in reverse. Okay. So this is like, this is a, this is very easy here. This relationship is very effortless. Okay. I feel like you don't have to really work hard to get along with this person, to have great sex, to have great intimacy, to have great chemistry. Okay. I feel like this, there is a, there's a yin yang here between you and this person. I feel like you guys take care of each other. It's effortless. Okay, even if you guys are not having sex or even if even if this is I feel like it's not based off of money either. It could be money based though. It could be. Let's see, why is the lover's card here? It could be dealing with a Gemini, the king of the king of cups, the the knight of cups in the reverse. Okay, so I I feel like this is okay. There's intimacy here with someone. Okay, you could you, you could be intimate having sex with this person, but I feel like the I feel like the emotional connection is not there. Though. Like I said, somebody here is a somebody here is a Taurus moon or a Taurus uh, south node. Somebody here does not know how to connect on a deeper level emotionally. Somebody does not know how to make love. Somebody only knows how to have sex. I feel like somebody somebody does not know how to tap into their emotions. All right, at all. Like somebody here is very superficial. Somebody here is is, is very very earth-based okay yes the sex might be phenomenal as hell but i feel like afterwards you just y'all you, just get up and go there there's no like there's no magnetism all right so why is the that is the queen of pentacles here that the chariot in the reverse yeah could be dealing with a cancer all right um you could have a you can have a cancer um moon here but i feel like somebody here um 
it's very stagnant. Yes, the, but the, the relationship here is very, it's nurturing, it's sexy, it's comfortable. It's, it's you know, you feel, you feel very, um, this is a comfort zone for somebody, but it's, it's, at the same time, it's stagnant as hell. It's not going nowhere. It's not getting, it's not, it's not doing shit. The sex is great. The I'm comfortable. We got we got comfortable furniture. I got I, I mean you know I got food to eat. You know I got clothes on my back. You know I'm I'm you living good. But it's like it's stagnant. The the situation is not progressing at all. It's not going anywhere. It's not propelling anybody forward. Nobody's nobody's being successful in anything. Nobody's on the right path. I feel like both of you are in your comfort zone here. It's just very comfortable. The six of cups. This could be somebody. This is somebody from your past. Like I said, recycle energy, somebody you've already dealt with. The death card here. Okay, so I'm getting change. Okay, somebody here could be praying for change. All right. Someone here is praying or somebody here is praying for change. Period. That um because nothing is fucking changing nothing is happening nothing is going on it's kind of mundane here i feel like nothing there's no newness there's no there's no new excitement i feel like you guys yes you have good sex yes it's nurturing it's comfortable but i feel like it's very boring okay there's no spark there's no life there's no passion there's no newness okay like there's no real intimacy like you know what i mean so i feel like um you could be you could be trying to let go of this person because of this, this could be somebody from your past, all right? This could be like somebody you already had like a go around with and you guys tried it again, but it's like, mm, I don't know. It's just not the same this time or whatever, all right? Um, so it could be that. But I feel like it is effortless because it's, it's somebody you already know. This is somebody from a past life, all right? Somebody you've known and multiple, like this is somebody you're very comfortable with. You're very comfortable with this person. You could be yourself around them, all right, completely. You have to, you don't have to pretend at all around this person. But I feel like, I feel like it's, it's a comfort zone. You've done this a million times before in a million other lifetimes. You've done this with the same person. It's been the same shit a thousand times before. And you're not having new any new opportunities, no new beginnings. Nothing's coming in new because you're staying in your comfort zone. You're staying in your self node and nothing new is going to happen for you. I'm sorry. It's just not. That's the way shit works. You don't want to abide by your contract? All right. You don't get a new life then. You get the same old fucking life you've been living for the last lifetimes. The energy is the night of this in the reverse, okay? Absolutely no movement, complete and utter stagnation, okay? In your life, and your relationships and everything. I feel like if you're not if you're not going to get on your, your path for your north node, the universe is not going to bless you. And, that, and the universe is like that. The universe don't care about your human problems. The universe don't give a fuck about what you're going through. The universe don't care about how hard your life is. You have a contract. You made a covenant. And the universe expects you to keep that covenant. They don't, it don't care what, what you got to go through. But if you don't want to keep that covenant, you want to stay in your comfort zone, you want to stay living out your south node and living in that energy, okay. You want to stay recycling the same pattern over and over again, okay. No new opportunities. No new money. No new love your life no new nothing complete and utter stagnation completely and capable of and capable of connecting with somebody deeply all right let's see what Gaia has to say here for you sacred heart passion love spiritual communication okay so I feel like You could be wanting to go back to someone because of this. You could be wanting to go back to someone because they make you feel comfortable. Um, but I feel like the person you're going back to, this this person is a part of your south node. This south node energy is recycled. It's this this person makes you feel so comfortable. This person is you. This person understands you. You can this person this person you have amazing sex with this person. Okay, but I feel like. I feel like you want this could be you too. You want a second chance. You want a chance to, to you want a chance to be your north node. Okay, it's coming together now, Taurus. You want a chance to be your north node with this person. I feel like you have realized that you've been living out your south node. But I feel like somebody that you left, somebody that you left is supposed somebody that you let, walked away from was meant to help you become your north node. But you walked away from that person because it was out of your comfort zone. It was because you wanted you wanted to live in a comfortable the comfortable energy. But the person you were seeing, the person from your past, was forcing you to become somebody new. They were forcing you to become your nerf node and you didn't like that. It was out of your comfort zone. Okay, but I feel like now you want a chance to be intimate. You want a chance to, uh, to connect deeply and emotionally with this person. Okay. But I feel like if you're with somebody right now, it ain't, that's... Mm -mm. Okay, so it's like Oracle Wisdom. You have, you, wow, like, yeah, I feel like somebody, somebody wise Joe Dome. 
you got you you somebody somebody wised up here and i feel like somebody realizes that somebody is their heart somebody is somebody is their north node somebody is your north node here somebody is your destiny and i feel like you realize that you know that now you want you want more than just the superficial shit okay you want to you want to put the work in like you want it to be easier okay I feel like too, I feel like you want the challenge now as well. Like before you, you just wanted comfort, but I feel like now you want a challenge. And I feel like you're willing to put that work in now where you weren't before, okay? Because you want you want this new beginning. Like you want, like you understand that you're not, nothing is happening in your life. Your life is stagnant. And you better wise up. I feel like somebody realized why, okay? So I hope this helps you, Taurus. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Bye.